Now Sports with Sports Director Scott Lever. Harlem and Hanani have won the last two Nick Chen championships in football. They're both ready to challenge for the championship again this season, and they're about to challenge each other tomorrow night at Harlem. There's one thing we all can expect when these two teams get together. I think when we put us two together, Hano and Harlem, I think uh, anything can go. I mean, if you look at them, they've all been nail biters. I'm expecting a dogfight. I'm expecting a matchup. I'm expecting hard hits. It was all of that last year in week one when Hananiga squeaked out a 14-6 win over the Huskies in Rockton. In that game, Hananiga blitzed Harlem quarterback Austin Redmond relentlessly. Are you anticipating to see the same thing? Yeah, I'm ready to step up to take a hit. Both teams posted wins last week in solid but not great performances by their standards. Hananiga jumped out to a big early lead on Jefferson and then watched the Jayhawks make it a bit of a game before the Indians won 35-22. Three turnovers and 12 penalties plagued the Indians. And the defense, with only two returning starters, showed its inexperience at times. Defensively, uh, we held our own early on and, and then we had some miscues later. Um, so I think that our inexperience um, uh, starting at the varsity level kind of um, it caught up to us there towards the end. The Indians had their purple and gold scrimmage the previous two weeks canceled by a lightning storm. Losing that tune-up might have contributed to some of their mistakes against the Jayhawks. Harlem defeated Auburn 21-12 last week. The Huskies defense scored on a pick six and the special team scored on a kick return. Those two units matched the offense which put only one touchdown on the board. It was just a, a Missed assignment here, missed assignment there, just cleaning up the stuff. I wouldn't say there's any concern. I definitely think we're going to step it up again this week. Harlem's defense was impressive against Auburn. The Huskies had eight sacks and four interceptions. Our defense is tenacious. Our defense is going to show up like we did last week and last year. Our defense can definitely be one of the top in the state. Friday night, that defense will face a Hananiga offense that had five different players score last week. For us to come out of the game uh, scoring 35 points, I thought, to five different people, um, that was tremendous. We're pumped up every every week, you know. Harlem Huskies, you know, it's just another obstacle to get through. We're all ready for this game. And it should be a great game. Also tomorrow night, another great game will unfold in Forston in the NUIC. The Cardinals will host Dupet. These two teams, and Lena Winslow are the top contenders for the conference championship. Both Forston and Dupac looked sharp last week in their opening wins. Reagan Holgate and I should have some juicy highlights to bring you tomorrow night on Overtime. Join us live at 11 p.m. on Fox 39. You Dupac folks are going to have plenty of time to get home from your game and get settled in, along with all you other folks who will be traveling to away games tomorrow night. The White Sox.